Joining us now is Hiroshi Amano from Nagoya University. Hiroshi is winner of the 2014 Nobel Prize in Physics and an instructor for Tutorial T. Welcome. Thank you. Let's start off with our first question, which is take us back to the moment you first found out that you'd been named a Nobel Prize winner. How did you find out and what was your reaction? When there was an announcement, uh, I was in the brain from Japan to the transit Frankfurt. But there, there's no announcement in the plane. So when I took off from the plane, I opened the PC and found many, many uh, emails uh, entitled congratulations. But I didn't recognize why, why it's uh, congratulations. So it, it uh, for me, it seems like a uh, spam mail. <laughs> and then uh, I went to the final destination, the Lyon Airport, France, and found some um, Japanese journalists. And also uh, my colleague in French company, and both they said, oh, you don't understand what had happened. <laughs> you, you won the uh, Nobel Prize. So I said, really? <laughs> that, that's my action. <laughs> the Nobel Citation describes your work as holding promise for improving the quality of life for more than 1.5 billion people. Do you have any sense that your work on blue LED light would have such far-reaching impacts? No, I couldn't imagine um yeah we we only trigger the uh, the research and development of the nitrate uh at blue led research but um yeah for 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 us the the word of uh Nobel foundation Nobel foundation is uh more, more than an honor for us the, 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 that's that's amazing. <laughs> so how are we seeing some of the breakthroughs today in our daily lives and what are some of the potential products or advances we might see in the near future? Maybe for young generation the most uh, significant impact is the change of Game Boys from <laughs> monochromes to full colors <laughs> and also the many people use it the uses the use the smartphones the full car smartphones and cell phones and uh, I, I will, I'm also very very surprised that even the general writings will be changed or have been changed to LED lightings and also uh, the, there are many many other interesting applications like um, plant uh, food uh, uh, applications and also the medical applications. So the uh, potential or the applications of LEDs should be more expanding. <laughs> and what research are you working on today? The material, the wide band gap material, especially nitrides, gallium nitride. Uh, application field is not limited to LEDs. Uh, we can also applicable to laser diodes, solar cells, and also the RF device and the power device. Can you preview your tutorial session for us? I, I will be speaking or explaining the, uh, how the LEDs impact on the energy savings and also the details of the fabrication of LEDs and the future applications. So we know that some of your earliest work that went into your discoveries was presented at MRS meetings. Can you tell us a little bit about the importance of meetings like this one to scientific discovery? This is very important because uh, we can present the new results to the other communities and also we can get the new ideas from the other uh, colleagues or, or competitors. And there, this, this kind of meeting is very, very important uh, to develop a new community. And the, one of the uh, origin why we are selected uh, to be the Nobel laureates is because the nitride community is very strong. So 
Uh, the MRS meeting is one of the best <laughs> meetings for us to develop uh, the community worldwide. Dr. Amano, thank you for joining us and enjoy the 2014 MRS fall meeting. Thank you. Also, a reminder to our audience, Dr. Romano's tutorial session will be recorded and will be available via MRS On Demand shortly after the conclusion of the meeting.